Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a 43 degree March the 31st. This will be the end of March after today. <laughs> uh, it's beautiful enough. I think we're going to take the Acura today. Mix it up a little bit. Well, Mama, welcome to what looks like it's going to be a beautiful Thursday. Yeah, it is. <laughs> there it is. Sometimes you have those mornings. It's, it's gonna be a good day. <laughs> you get that little fluffy feeling inside. Mama, in total sunshine, it dumped it all kinds of crazy stuff. That was a wild. <laughs> That was a wild ride. It was. You can see it coming. Up. Is that road wet? And I said, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the springtime. Mm -hmm. Well, Mama, have yourself a wonderful Thursday. You too, sweetheart. All right. Don't All work right. too hard. You eat. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. Love you. Bye bye now. Bye. There's my spider job from this morning. It was just for a seat and a rear trunk shock. Here's my S1000 XR, did the UVI on yesterday. It's only got 3,300 miles on it. It's a 2020. She like brand new. Whoa, that's not right. <coughs> no, it's riding too many damn Harleys. They don't have side stand switches. Oh, there's our electric motor, whatever, however all that's going to work. Don't know, but it's cool. They're out here last week painting the ground, out here this week putting it in. One thing about these newer. For some reason, I thought the newer ones came out 21, not 20. Holy moly. That's a dynamic auto. That thing feels rough as a cog. Feels really stiff. Uh, give it a second here. It'll figure out probably. Dynamic mode. That's nice. Still not right with the mirrors. Anyway, these have the funkiest seat. You feel like you're sitting on a small pickle bucket. Like I've said before, maybe that's the size of my rear hindy hindy. <laughs> what if that thing's quieter with that thing up? That might get in you guys' way. Well, I don't know if it gets in your way or not, but it irritates the heck out of me. I'm not a shield up guy. If at all possible. And that was a long light. Woo! This I might have to ride this thing with that shield up. This little cheap helmet, man, that thing makes some racket with that thing down, doesn't it? I hope that's probably giving you guys a distorted look too. I, can, I mean, I can see over it fine, but the camera sees way down here. I'm looking way up here. These XRs, man, they sure are nice. I would absolutely. You know, what's funny is most of the people love the seat on these things. So, maybe it's just a, a me problem. Very strange feeling to them. They make me feel like I'm sliding my junk into the back of the tank, you know. And then that weird uh, feeling the rim of the bucket kind of feeling. Cool motorcycles, though. The four cylinders and the six cylinders, the shift assist pro works so good. So fine. <laughs> so somebody was uh, 
commented it was a kind of a spider comment I think it was a spider owner anyway about what I mean by my preliminary oil check so like this one for example you do your initial check you let it run until the fan cycles one time so this thing holds four liters I put three and a half in it and then I uh, I take them for a ride get them good and hot and uh, I'll go back and uh, and check it and most of the time you know BMW's uh, numbers on the amount of oil it holds with the oil and filter change is pretty much spot on for the most part but you know sometimes you just you drain more than you know it depends on the heat and how hot the motor was when you pulled the plug and how long you let it sit there and drain off you know the quicker you do it the more apt you are to not get everything out so you put the four liters in there and it's over you can't be any amount over you can be low it can be at the bottom of the window in this thing you're safe absolutely safe a lower quantity of oil I mean you could be too low but uh, uh you know like say if you ran half the quantity of oil in it never gonna hurt it not in a million years what it does the oil breaks down extremely fast so my point with that is is uh people freak out uh, we've had you know where someone didn't check it afterwards and you know it's towards the bottom of the window or halfway on the window and literally come unhinged you guys did engine damage to my bike and all this other crap uh no we've even had them like get so mad they've even called the manufacturer to like write a rat us out or whatever and uh I won't name what manufacturer it was, but a customer got laughed at and says, dude, <laughs> if you can lean it over and see anything show up in the window, you're safe. When you're not safe is when you see that oil light come on. Because when the oil light comes on, uh, you're already too late. That means it doesn't see pressure. <laughs> the oil light's not on. You got enough oil in it to be safe. Just don't leave it that way. Being at the bottom of the window, halfway on the window, absolutely positively stay safe. It even tells you clearly right in the manual, as long as you're between the low and high mark, you're fine. So when we do a service, we want to leave them at the high mark, but not on cold oil. It has to be at operating temperature. Letting it sit there and run in your garage and until the fan cycles a couple of times, that's not if that oil is too hot to touch on the end of your dipstick you're good if it's not stop take it for a ride do not add oil to it until the oil is hot oil like a lot of other liquids expands when it gets hot so you need to check the oil when it's hot and it at the top of the window when it's hot fully hot do not do it with cold oil because you just overfilled your motorcycle when it's cold if it's halfway three quarters on the window maybe the oil expands that much the more oil you have in your engine like a spider for instance so the total quantity of oil in a spider is something like 7.2 quarts you don't get all that out you know it's about five and a half quarts five and a quarter quarts um, in an oil and filter change but all that other oil is still in there that's another thing why you need to change it when they say to change it spiders is every 9300 miles as long as you're somewhere around there change it because like every engine you're not getting everything out and the more you let those oil changes go over the more you're accumulating this old dead oil so at least do it when they say to do it we're close to it you know don't go you know thousands and thousands of miles over you know all these oils are so good 
you know the old days oh man you better change it every 3,000 miles you know oils just weren't that good back then the machining the precision of engines weren't that good back then they got this stuff down to a science good quality oil change it when they say to change it early if you want I'm telling you from 42 years of experience not necessary just do it when unless you have some kind of problem the old days you know your float bowls overflowed and because you didn't drain your carbs and floats went janky and you left the fuel pack cock on and it fills the engine up with gasoline <laughs> you need to do a couple of oil changes one thing's for sure that gasoline will clean the inside of your engine like you never seen before it's like uh, adding a little ATF in here man super cleans it but you know unless something happens to the oil you know, some Nimrod going, I can go out there at least every other week and fire up, get the juices flowing. Yeah, you need to change the oil a lot. Mm -hmm. There'll be way other, more damaging things going on than worrying about your oil at that point. But the preliminary check is to make sure it's, you know, in a safe spot. And I'm usually you know either at the bottom or halfway on the stick depends on what it holds this is a three quart thing I put three and a half in there odds are it'll take that other half not quart liter that other 500 cc's and be right on the money like I say don't always count on that you know it must be those those trees because I'm getting that urine smell again I know there's trees that put off that smell and I went down that one little area and there's a bunch of those over there and I just got a whiff of it again so I, well, it probably doesn't even have that smell but to me that's what it smells like boys not in his office today Yeah, 3,300 miles on this thing. If you're interested in a 2020 um, S1000XR, and it has uh, carbon doodads on it too. Here, let me just swing in here. We'll just take a quick look. I'll give you a little walk. Oh, me and them dead gum side stands. That was my fault. I thought I went to neutral. But anyway, he has, and this stuff is really expensive. The carbon fiber uh, rear tailpiece thing, carbon fiber sides. Look at the way that XR is in that carbon. <clears throat> carbon fiber front fender. I don't know, of course, you know, when you get something from an auction, you don't know the whole story. He's got the uh, running lights on it. That's an expensive kit. Tires look like they're almost new <clears throat> but this is the way we got it from the auction and we go through and do the the BMW thing on it we run it through BMW's uh, deal so when the next service is due it'll be legit and they'll tell you what to do to it and what you can pass on and whatever they just you go through and they build the list for you kind of nice these are uh, I think 160 horse god I remember when this these things first came out I said nothing like a 200 horsepower dual sport or adventure bike or whatever god and these keyboard warriors it's not 200 horse it's 160 horse <laughs> like oh my god 40 something years old and you're down in your mama's basement huh <laughs> so yeah a lot of horsepower and they uh i don't know what they do different i'm going to any of them kind of technical details but they're a smoother running one Although when they first came out, there were some criers. Oh, they buzz and my hands got numb. 
they changed some stuff with the bars there was these uh, bushings or something these don't even have them the bushings got changed and I'm thinking wow probably never rode a GS or GSA down the freeway those will make your hands go numb maybe you picked the wrong motorcycle <laughs> These things have the best cruise control ever. Just click the little, watch this, it'll even go on at this speed. Literally the best cruise on the planet is the BMW cruise control. They're nice. Take hand off, let the blood rush in it every once in a while. It ain't gonna hurt you. Just do it, you know, every, I don't know, half hour or so and your hands go normal. I think I'm gonna cut in front of them right quick. Looked like he was dumping more trash out the back and the front, didn't it? Well, anyway, get her on the in here and do my final oil check. Now the engine's up to full operating temperature. Slippery transmissions, man. You'll go right in the second every time you look for neutral. Thanks for coming along for the rip. God almighty. <laughs> She's a looker. Looks a whole lot different this afternoon than it did this morning. It does it that. It's nice. Actually, I just got a thing saying that rain's going to be here in a few minutes. But we're leaving. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go home where there's no rain. Let's, Let's do it. Wait. Let's head north. All right. All right. Well, hello there, YouTube. Oh, buddy. Again, you get up north here, the brown's wet. Oh. You get that grass dry so I can mow it. Yeah. Or I'm just going to have to go out there and make a mess. Huge mess. mess. Yeah, bad mess. But anyway, in between the rain showers, it's funny coming home. It's a wet spot, dry spot. Wet spot, dry spot. It's the craziest thing. It's like it's spitting and sputtering coming over. <laughs> it's like a dog was... A dog cloud's going on marking its territory yeah, or something. Yeah, this needs some water, that needs some water. Yeah, <laughs> this is mine, this is mine. <laughs> All other rain clouds stay out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Got crazy. Then at one point, it absolutely dumped. Mm -hmm. I was sitting there at GC's and I look and I go, what's, li oh, that's right, it went through a rain thing. The car's dripping all over the ground. Like crazy. But Anyway, another good day, very BMW day. Finishing off with the BMW, well, finish that up in the morning. A beautiful 2019 RT. Uh, we'll talk about that tomorrow. You guys, you guys know who owns that one. So, anyway, we'll deal with that in the morning. All right. And then whatever else. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Friday or Saturday. Thank you. All right. All right. Till then. See you in the morning. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>